Hello again. This is our second lecture on Gromax software. What we have done so far is that we have told you what kind of what kinds of files are needed. For example, we started with a PDB file. We started with a top file. We talked of a GRO file. Now we will resume our discussion on the top file and then go to all other files that are needed. And then Sonanki will tell us how to actually run the Gromax package. So you go ahead with the top file again. Okay, uh, so this is a topology file and a topology file as I have said earlier, it contains all the force field parameters, the Leonard Jones parameter which are sigma, epsilon, charge, mass of the molecule, how many number of molecules are being simulated, all these file, all these uh, parameters are to be included in the topology file. This is a topology file for liquid argon. So here we see that the first three lines are comment uh, and um, the line where it is written NB function, the NB function it stands for non-bonded function and uh, if it is 1 then it means that we are using a Leonard Jones potential that is a 12 6 1 potential and if it is 2 then it is exponential 6 1 potential. So it yes, is… Sir, that 1 includes the coulomb also. Yeah, the 1 includes okay. coulomb also okay. and it is user specified, the kind of potential we want to use okay. we can specify it here. Okay. Then COM rule is the combination rule. Right, right. That we will come when we come to water and other mixtures. Yeah, because okay. And the last line is your, what is that? In gen pairs, fudge, LJ and fudge QQ, right. it is used for polyatomic molecule and okay. for triatomic molecule. Okay. For monoatomic molecule like argon, right. we don't use it. Okay. And uh, then the second type is the atom type where we have to define the type of atoms like here is just only one that is right. argon atom. Okay. Oh. Then we have to specify charge of argon atom uh, and mass, mm. then sigma and epsilon in sigma in nanometer and epsilon in kilojoules per mole okay. and all these parameters we will get from OPLS directory. Mm. The file name is FF bonded and FF non bonded dot ITP. Okay. For each molecule and each atom we have sigma epsilon charge defined there and for each uh, different different force field the parameters will vary. Mm. So when you say include argon.itp, yeah. in which directory will that will that be argon.itp? Uh, it will be in the same directory in As the argon. working directory. In the working directory, yeah. it has to be in the yeah. argon directory. Okay. Okay. And uh, then we'll have molecules where right. we have to define the residue name of the molecule right. and the number of uh, total number of molecule or atom that is being simulated. Which are already chosen for a 30 angstrom box. or a 3 nanometer box length. Yeah, that is 567. Okay. So it has to be defined by the user okay. and it has to be changed and the residue name which is defined here that is AR, it has to be same throughout. It okay. has to be same in the PDB file, GRO file, topology file, it has to be same otherwise it will give an error. Suppose somewhere somebody writes A instead of A R, then what will happen? It will give some error. It will give some errors uh, saying that uh, residue name A R not found. Okay. Whatever the what name, if, right. Okay. Yeah, it will show yeah. the error. Yeah. You can go to the next yeah. one. So the next is the, uh, we'll have a detailed description of argon.itp file. So we can uh, open the file using the command vi, vi argon.itp. This is the file for liquid argon. So here um, the molecule type, it is the directory which we, where we have to give a detailed description of the molecule or the solvent or anything that we are simulating. Then uh, in name we have to write the residue name of the molecule or atom. Here it is AR since we have used the residue name AR for liquid argon. Then there is NREXL. In this section we have to define after how many bonds the non-bonded interactions are included in the molecule. Since this is a monoatomic molecule it does not matter but in case of water or uh, methanol, ethanol it has to be chosen properly. So instead of 3 can I give 2 here or yeah. 4 here? Yeah, yeah. Does not matter because every matter pair because is interacting. Yeah. And what is that last line after the atoms? Uh, after the atoms, I will just say yeah. in this directive we have to define NR. NR is the serial number of atom in the molecule since there is only one argon atom like okay. argon is a monoatomic molecule. So serial number is 1 but if we have water there will be 3 sites. Okay. So we will have 3 uh, serial number 1, 2 and 3. Hmm. Then in type we have to define the type of atom in the molecule. Okay. In uh, RESNR that is the residue number, we have to write the residue number of the molecule. In residue we have to give the residue name of the molecule which we have used throughout. In atom we have to write the name of uh, atom name of each molecule. Then CGNR this is the charge group number. Okay. Since there is uh, it is a monoatomic molecule the so charge group number will be 1. 
then there is charge we have to define the charge of the molecule and then there is mass so, so this the mass has to be the same that we started with yeah so suppose this mass is slightly different from the original it will take this as the final um yeah it will take this as the final because this we are including in the topology file okay. and this we are using in the simul simulation now what do you mean by atom type what is the meaning of atom, atom type atom type it will give a detailed description of the charge mass residue name each and okay. everything of atom then uh, how many residues so, so are for there for example suppose i am doing something like uh, benzene okay or say toluene okay there the charge on one carbon in the ring could be different from the yeah, so charge in the yeah so we have to we have to define each and every carbon atom there so, so there, there will be will two be, types of carbons then yeah so in case of benzene we'll have then six uh nr here is nr is the serial number of atom right okay. so in case of benzene hmm. we'll have 12 since there are six carbon and But, six hydrogen okay so we'll have 12 uh, residues then each type each type of carbon atom will have a different charge okay so the type of atoms really means the total atoms then not just the type yeah it means type it plus the total total yeah so suppose i have something like fullerene with 60 carbons it will have 60 there will be 60 different carbons type of carbon atoms okay. yes and each one could have the same charge or they could or have they different charge they could have charges. different charge okay depending on the environment single bond or double bond okay so next uh, we'll perform energy minimization of liquid argon since we started Now, wh why why do we need energy minimization because uh, in packmol we started with a random configuration we have just given a tolerance like uh, the dis minimum distance between two atoms should be less than 3 angstrom or more than 3 angstrom or something but this is not properly equilibrated or okay. energy minimized configuration so we need an energy minimized configuration to start with so that we will get all the properties which we want to calculate from uh, the simulation it will correspond to a equilibrated configuration okay so for energy minimization we'll need an mdp file mdp But file instead of minimization in principle we could do direct simulation uh but uh, it may we, not be effective it may no. not be effective because if we energy minimize we'll get a global minimum okay we may not get a local minimum but we'll get a actually we'll get a local minimum right so instead maybe of with minimization if you go ahead the chance of a successful simulation is much higher yeah and the properties like diffusion or okay. uh, uh, potential energy which we want to right. calculate will have a better value of that okay so uh, so is it like when students come to an institute uh, they don't know what it is and you give one or two days for orientation yeah exactly now this is like they orient nicely so that you can yeah, do the simulation they orient nicely in the simulation box, box. okay so uh, say for example if all the waters are in a strange arrangement when you minimize lot of hydrogen bonds will be formed so it's a yeah. more comfortable starting point for the exactly. actual uh, run yeah okay so we need an mdp file for this and okay. mdp file mdp stands for a molecular dynamics parameter file okay. and uh, it contain all the information Uh, which is needed so here is the information given for energy minimization we'll need uh, em.mdp em oh, for so energy minimization now already there are parameters like lenard jones parameter charge yeah. parameter mass parameter yeah. so mdp file is having many more parameters than the old ones yeah like you are giving some i see somewhere 0.01 that is a time step yeah correct so you will give many so this includes more parameter than the starting one yeah definitely so this is let, let us say it is super file compared to the old ones yeah because it will contain information like which is the algorithm we want to use for Correct. minimizing the right. energy then what is the total number of steps we require right. then so is this the last parameter file no we'll have this is just for energy minimization okay. now to perform an md simulation also we'll need a mdp file that is a more uh, okay. that is a even bigger file than this okay. energy so that will have maybe additional parameters yeah that will have some additional okay, parameters so let us see what these parameters are so uh, here the first uh, line is uh, integrator that is steep so that is the algorithm which we are using for energy minimization okay. that is the steepest decent algorithm okay. so what here, are, are there some other types yeah there is lfb g okay. algorithm there are different other algorithm but for so, a simple molecular right. atom steepest decent algorithm is fine to be like sufficient did, did you use in your work other than steepest descent no i have used steepest This descent algorithm enough, right. throughout actually steepest descent means you have a high energy level low energy it comes fastest to your lowest, lowest energy. energy so this is supposed to be a very good uh, method 
so the next line is em toll that is equal to uh, 1000 so what is mean is that we need to stop minimization when the maximum force on one atom or molecule is less than 1000 kJ per mole per nanometer so when the maximum force is uh, 1000 it is reached it will stop the minimization this should be between all pairs isn't it yeah it should be between all pairs so starting forces could be 100000 lakh yeah. can be any number because starting forces will be very high and is it possible that some starting forces will be so high that you have to reject the configuration yeah it may be a possibility okay so in that case you have to do the pack mole once again yeah okay yeah so the next is the em step that is 0.01 that is the energy step size so after 0.01 step it will perform again energy minimization so this is a step size for a energy minimization then so this is not a time step uh, no this is not a time step this is a um, after uh, 0.01 time frame it will yeah it's kind of a time step only okay because okay. we are giving total number of step that is n steps is 5000 here that okay. is the maximum number of minimization step okay. so like suppose it started from the step 0.0 Uh, step zero, then it will go to step zero point zero one, then zero point zero two, like that. It will uh, perform the energy minimization. Okay. So next is NST list, that is the neighbor list, which we need to update. So it can be, uh, it is user specified. It can be between one to ten. Okay. So for for example, for liquid argon, could I have started with five? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Okay. But then, if it is molecule. Uh, uh, the, the preferred neighbor list is ten for molecule, for water, okay. for methanol, for okay. polyatomic molecule. We prefer ten. Okay. Then, but in principle, there is nothing to stop me from taking twelve. No, there is nothing to stop, but uh, it will generally be, it will take longer time to calculate. Yeah. Okay. So then is NS type, which is grid. Mm. Uh, it is a method to calculate the neighbor list, the the neighbor of nearing uh, nearby argon atom. Okay. So we use the grid method to calculate it. Mm. Then is R list, that is the cut off for the neighbor list, which is one nanometer. Then to calculate, uh, then. So that means anything which is beyond one nanometer is not the neighbor of a given atom. Yeah. we okay. have to define the cut off for neighbor list also okay then is coulomb type coulomb type is for uh, treatment of long range electrostatic interaction we have to use certain algorithms so here we are using particle mesh evolved algorithm that is pme algorithm to treat the long range electrostatic interactions so And there are instead instead of pme there is what is called reaction field there, there is, is what is called evolved maybe when we have time we can actually do this or we can give one as an assignment yeah to will, check which is right, more efficient correct, and correct, correct. then uh, there is r coulomb r coulomb is the cut off for uh, short range electrostatic that is 1 nanometer then r vdw is the van der waals cut off which is 1.4 nanometer and all this cut off that r list r coulomb and r vdw it should be less than equal to half of the box length correct either less than the box length or equal to box length it cannot be more than the box length and then there is pbc which is xyz direction that is a periodic boundary condition it is applied in all the three directions so you said that all these cut off should be less than the box length yes it cannot be more or it can be equal to the box length but it cannot be more than the box right. length so one of the reasons why we use this, we use cut offs is that suppose there are 500 molecules it is not necessary to consider the interaction of one molecule with all the 500 because whichever are very near it like say a sphere of 1 angstrom uh, sphere of 1 uh, nanometer. nanometer diameter so instead of 500 this will around 250 and that 250 is enough to do the calculations we yes. need not consider all so this is just to increase the speed of computations and also if you have we if we start calculating between 500 atom it will take much long much long time and then Correct. computation and space plus will also many of those computations are wasted no yeah exactly so it doesn't matter we can do all the calculations if they are really needed yes but if it is unnecessary uh, one should cut off yes okay yeah so this is the mdp file that we will be using for energy minimization okay so now to uh, perform energy minimization we need an tpr file which is a binary file and it will contain uh, gro file topology file and mdp file okay. so these are the three file that is contained in one single em.tpr file now to generate em.tpr file we have to type the command grow mpp space minus f em.mdp space minus c conf.gro space minus p topol.top space minus o 
em dot tpr space max one space two. So grow mpp is a command which will combine the mdp, gro, and topology file into one single binary input file, which is a tpr file. So that is your minus o refers to the output. Minus o refers to the output and minus. F minus C minus P are the flag for different file and okay. if you just type grow MPP space minus H which is the help command it will display that uh, what is the flag that is required before an MDP file before a GRO file so one need not uh, need to memorize the uh, whole command like grow MPP minus F EM dot MDP so one will get if we, if they after just practice, type this you will know all that yeah but now do you mean to say all the four will be needed in this all the MDP, GRO, top MDP, and TPR. GRO and top, these are the main input file input. that is required and we you will we will use all these three files in to one single, uh, huh, to generate a TPR file and grow MPP is the command to do that right. and in that single em.tpr file it will contain information of all the three files. Right. So that is the final thing that is needed to done, do the energy minimization. Yeah, this is the final thing which we will need to do the energy so minimization. So now suppose instead of maximum warning 2, I yeah. give 5 doesn't matter. Suppose I give zero? Uh, zero it won't take because zero if you give then there is no point of giving the max one command. Max one command is basically that uh, sometimes while running a simulation we get warnings Correct. and warnings you can ignore. Okay. So we generally get one or two warnings so that is max one two we give or but. But suppose I don't <laughs> give that command at all max one two then what will happen? Then uh, it will still work. Yeah, it will still work. Okay. If you get warning, say sometimes while running the command uh, grow MPP, you get warning like there are there is one warning, there is two warning. So to ignore those warning, we use max one command because those so, warnings are not so important to consider. But are these warnings because when the force is very large, for example? Uh, not exactly the force is very large, hmm. but sometimes like uh, this uh, algorithm is not working for this molecule. We need okay. to use different algorithm, but if it at all doesn't work, it will give a segmentation fault. Okay. But warning we can ignore. Okay. Segmentation fault we can't. So now we'll get a. It but will then segmentation fault is not a warning. No segmentation fault you cannot even run it. That means it will just crash. It will just crash. Okay. You have to properly rectify and identify what is the right. error, okay. and then only it can work. So we combine all these three files using grow mpp command to generate em.tpr file right. and then uh, since it is a binary file we cannot view it using vi command right. so we have to have a different uh, v, um, a command to view this file so gmx dump is the command so you just type gmx dump space minus s space em.tpr and then enter. So, so what this gmx dump does it reads the binary TPR file yes. and writes the output on the screen. Yes. So is there a way to write the output not on the screen but into some file? No. Uh, or you can open the TPR file using a text pad. Okay. Uh, so it will but give all the detail. Text pad will give you too much information. Yeah, no? it will have all, uh, it will have the GRO file first, okay. then it will have the topology file, then it will have the uh, okay. MDP file. So suppose I do GMX term minus S EM dot TPR yes. minus O something. Maybe I will be able to write it on some file. We can try that. Yeah, we can try that, but huh? uh, we cannot read the TPR file. Correct. No, no, I am not saying you are using G GMX dump. Yeah, yeah. The default is dumping on the screen. Yes. Now it should be possible to dump somewhere else so that I can see it at leisure. Yeah, maybe. Okay? Maybe we can try it right, using right. minus okay. O command. Correct. So, yeah, given the detail like that minus F uh, flag right. minus F, it specifies the MD options unit. Okay. Minus P will specify topology file unit. Right. Minus C is for configuration. Minus O is for output. Okay. Now so after configuration we, is what file? GRO file? Yeah, GRO file. Okay. So after we type the command grow mpp minus f em dot right. mdp, something like this will appear on the screen. Okay. Right. So there is one warning in Yeah, there case. is one warning. Okay. So you that can okay. ignore it. Yeah, that is okay. And what are all those commands? The universe is something. Yeah, that you when you run a command in Chrome you will always get a quote. So no, that is just for some humor. Yeah. That huh? is so just that for some humor. you don't get exhausted. Yeah. Okay. So now we are But we cannot change those. No, we comments. cannot change it. Okay. It comes automatically. Okay. Now uh, But to it is not automatic because somebody has put all those comments. Yeah, somebody has put. Right. Okay. So now to perform energy minimization using the TPR file, okay. we need to use the command MD run. Okay. So if we type MD run minus H, we can get uh, 
we can have a look on what it does. Right. So details of all the options. Details of all the options. So okay. this is the full command that you have to type right. on screen huh. to get the output file from MD run. But instead of using such a long command, hmm. we can as well use MD run space minus V space minus D E F F N M space E M. So it will create all the output file using initial as em so it will create em.trr it will create em.gro okay. em.gro is the energy minimized configuration okay. then em.edr is the energy file it contain all the information about energy like potential energy kinetic energy a temperature pressure it will contain all the file em.log is the energy file in a log format then em.xtc is the trajectory file at each time step, what is the position, coordinate, velocity, it will contain all those information. So now, how do I know that this MD run is only minimization and not final dynamics? Because we are using the TPR file of energy minimize, uh, from energy minimization. Okay. So if we use um, TPR file of full MD, right. then we have to type MD run space minus V space minus D E F F N M space full. Okay. Since we are using EM, which yeah. is the TPR file from energy minimization, so right. it will give us the output of energy minimization. Okay. This is the uh, command which we can use instead of the large command previously. It will get the same output. Okay. So now after energy minimization of liquid argon, we will see the following lines where it will write the tolerance, number of step and then steepest descent converge to F max less than okay. how, a thousand kilojoule per mole per nanometer in how many steps it, it is getting converged, then what is the potential and energy, what is the maximum force on which atom, it right. will give us all this. And now we will have the lowest energy configuration in the form of EM.GRO. So now our limit for the force was 10 to the 4. Yeah. Correct. Now this is saying maximum force 10 to the 2. Yes. So that means it did better than what we expected. Yes. Correct. So instead of 10 to the 4 for the maximum force, we could have given 10 to the 3 also. Yeah. But maximum 10 to the power 4 is used because in case we have a large right, molecule right. or large system. Right. So, so in now that other case, thing that is noticed here is that you did that uh, only 17 steps are used. Yes. Okay. And I have given 5000 steps. And but the potential energy is still positive, you know? Yeah, it is positive. In case of neutral molecule, it generally comes as a positive quantity. Okay, but that 10 to the 2 is not a very large number. No. Not a very but large number. But when we do uh, for charged molecules, right. say water or uh, ions and all will get a negative value of free energy. Okay, because energy. if it is not negative, then you cannot really start there. Yeah, so because in case of neutral molecule, it is generally found to be positive. But okay. if we have a charged molecule, we will get negative quantity. But well. instead of 10 to the 2, suppose it was 10 to the 4, then you may have to minimize again. Yeah, then it won't get even minimized. It will okay. show us error that F max did not converge to the... F no, no, F max could be small, yet the potential large, can that happen or not? Generally not. Generally not. Okay, because if the force is small, the potential is also small. Yes. Okay. So now we, we are having the em.gro file, which is the energy minimized configuration file. Okay. And now taking this configuration file, we will start our full molecular dynamic simulation. Okay. So in, in full.mdpa file, we will have all these detail thing. So I will just um, give a brief uh, information about all, all this. All the parameters. Yes. So integrator, in the first line we will have integrator. Integrator is given as MD, MD uh, which specifies that which is the algorithm that we are using to integrate Newton's equation of motion. So here we are using leapfrog algorithm. There are many other algorithm, Verley algorithm, uh, so there velocity are some methods, uh -huh, yeah, there, are, there are different methods. So in that algorithm. case, uh, we have to use a different uh, notation. In, yeah, different notation. Right, right. In, case we are using MD which signifies we are using leapfrog algorithm. Okay. Then DT it is the time step of MD simulation and it has to uh, the time step is generally taken as 2 femtoseconds. Then is NST X out which me it is equal to 100 it means that it will save the coordinate of the particle after every 100 into DT time step. Then so oh, now why do you think we need this 100? Instead of 100 suppose I did thousand what will happen it won't happen anything but uh, you will write much fewer co coordinates it will, ha it will write much fewer coordinate but okay. if we need to analyze very carefully and if we need to get good result it's better to have fewer like get the coordinates and velocities saved after fewer number okay. of time steps okay. 
then is nst v out uh, is 100 it means it will save the velocities of each particle after every 100 into dt time so that nst out and n st v out yes. x out and v out they can be different uh, 100 uh, suppose you are giving 100 as x out and 200 as v out right. yeah that is user defined it can be different See that is suppose you don't want too much information on velocities. Yeah. Then you may give that NSTV out as a very large number. Yeah, you can give it as a ten thousand, but it has to be less than the number, number of, steps of steps in that the simulation. Yeah. Right. Then there is NSTF out. It will write the force on each particle after every hundred into dt okay. time step. Then there is NST log. It the energy of the system will be written in a log file. Okay. Then there is NST XT. C O out that but is five hundred. Your N S T log, it is showing ninety thousand. Yeah, because we don't Whereas need. on the right side, it is nine thousand times D T. I, I think guess it will be nine thousand okay. times D T. It's so, a typo. Ah, okay. So both should be the same. Yeah, both should be the same. Ah. Then the next file is. But the more important is the N S T log value, not what is written on the right side. No. Okay. Then is N S T X T C out that is five hundred. It means that the trajectory of the whole system will be written. After every 500 into dt time step, here also okay. there is a typo. It has to be 500 into dt, not 9000. Okay, that, that's so, okay. But main thing is your bold faced values. These yeah. are the parameters. And every like this trajectory file is very important. So okay. lesser the number, better we get the result. Correct. Then NST list is the neighbor list, as I have already said earlier. Okay. Which is used to make uh, update the neighbor list. Okay. Then NS type is grid. That is, uh, it will. Uh, Calculate the neighbor list using the grid method. Okay. Then Coulomb type is PME. That is the long range electrostatic interaction will Particle be. Particle mesh evolved. Oh, yeah. Right. Then uh, we are using Coulombic cutoff as one nanometer. Hmm. And PME order is the uh, interpolation order for the electrostatic interaction, which is taken as four. Then there is Van der Waals type. Here also we are using cutoff for Van der Waals interaction. That is 1.5 nanometer. Then there is T couple, that is the temperature coupling. Okay. So we have to, uh, since we are uh, performing simulation in NPT or NVT ensemble, so we have to fix the temperature, uh, we have to keep it constant throughout the simulation. So if there is any fluctuation for some random reason, it will rescale to a temperature of our designed yeah. value. So we are using your velocity right. rescaling thermostat to okay. fix the temperature of the system. Right. TC groups mean temperature coupling group. So here you can specify which are the group that you need to couple uh, or you need to fix the temperature of. So here we are so fixing example, the temperature. for example, I have water. I need not use hydrogens. Is that what you are saying? No, no. System is like you have water and methanol. Okay. Right. So you need you have to fix the temperature of water and not methanol. So you can specify water as different okay. uh, temperature coupling group. But generally we fix the temperature of the whole system. Correct. That is what is desired. Then right. there is reference temperature which is 298. So to that which all things are scaled. They are yes. all scaled to 298. Yes. And then there is constraint. Right. No. That is because here we are using just monoatomic right. molecule. Right. So we don't need to fix any bond length or bond angle. Hmm. And then there is P couple that is Berenson. So we are, we are, we are using uh, pressure, pressure coupling. Okay. Yeah. Berenson algorithm is being used. Yeah. And uh, P couple type is isotropic. That is okay. uh, it is taking an isotropic system. Then tau p is the pressure coupling constant right. which is used as 4 picosecond. Hmm. Then compressibility is 4.5 it is in bar, right. um, per bar, in, bar inverse. Right. Then reference pressure is 1 bar right. and gen velocity means it will generate velocity using the Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution. Okay. So these are the parameters that is specified in the MDP file. Right. So now the next command is for your actual MD or minimization. Uh, we have already done minimization. minimization. So right. next command will be for full MD. So we will just show the command and conclude this lecture. Okay. okay. So we have already em.gro which is right. the energy minimized configuration. Right. And then we will have full.mdp instead okay. of em.mdp. So this is the command to do the final MD simulation. Yes. It is okay. the same command as uh, em.mdp. Right. Just instead of em.mdp we will be using full.mdp. Full. Right. We will be using the output gro file of energy minimization that is em.gro. Okay. Topol.top file is the same. It is a common. Yeah. It is right. a common. And then output file here we are. Um, giving us full dot TPR instead okay. of EM dot TPR. So the max one here need not be the same as earlier. It could yeah, be different. It could be different. Right. And now we'll be doing MD simulation using the command MD run right. space minus V space minus DEFFNM full. Right. 
full is the TPR file that we are getting from the okay. grow MPP command. So what we will do, we will conclude this with this MD run statement and next time again we will begin with MD run and then analyze all the trajectories and if there is time we will also do the installation. Okay, okay? thank you.